big reason that people don't realize is why the chest clashes. I know Louis Simmons says all the time, we add and pull back. The other thing is we glutes and we can hamstring. And when you come out of the squat, so I actually I'll use this marker. So at the bottom, you know, so you're here, torso. So let me draw my shin angle first. Shin, too high. Shin, butt, torso, here. So right here, my knees, my knees are here, my hips are here, obviously. So when I come up, my hip, my knees have to extend, my hips have to extend. What ends up happening with people with really weak glutes and hamstrings who are super quad dominant is my knees extend, but my hips haven't. Oh, oh I'm sorry. My knees extend, but my hips haven't, so my chest is down here. Because my hips haven't extended yet, but my knees have started to extend. So when I'm down at the bottom of the squat, my butt pops. Okay? My knees have extended, my hips haven't extended yet. That all has to happen together. So if I have really weak glutes and hamstrings, then what's gonna happen is, is that my hip, my glutes and my hamstrings are gonna lag behind my quads and my chest is gonna have no choice but to go down.